And then I want to report on my secret sauce is what you're seeing right here. I apply four, four treatments and starting with the first, second, third treatment, there were a lot of bugs. I mean, there were like hundreds and hundreds of flying around. I went and check out today four treatments in four weeks and remember my last statement was i had 85 percent i got rid of 85 percent of the bugs and i thought it wasn't good enough and i didn't want to i wanted to stay organic so i ordered some stuff and it turns out I don't need that stuff, the killer stuff. Four treatments, four weeks. You know how many bugs I have? I have about 2%, which is very, very, very little. I'm talking, I didn't even count them and flying. There were like three bugs flying in the yard there. Big comparison difference. I guess it just needed time. Anyways. I eradicated 98.% of the bugs in my yard. Can you believe that? Because I sure can't. Secret sauce. One and two. So it works. I guess I have to call this successful. And I, that was four. Here's five and six. Different, stronger version. Five and six. But version three and four worked just fine. It just needed some time. <laughs> so I'm really happy with that. And uh, I'm going to finish up five and six here. But I think it was not going to show any different. I got 98%. No bugs. Now, so that's the update with the secret sauce. I called this a success. Really disappointing. All right, welcome to the Blue Garden. I'm out here watering, and I want to show you how I do the, my watering. See, I use the high pressure. It's not that high pressure, but I use the pressure here. You can see here. See, that's the jet. And I hit the leaves. You see that? And there's a lot of schools for crops here. But you see what's going on here? The high power jet is knocking down all the leaves. You see all the leaves there? Now, why am I using the power of the jet screen? To knock out all these loose leaves. Because if I don't do that, the tree would nurture nurture these weak leaves that are gonna fall down anyways. And they're taking nitrogen glucose away from the tree. Instead of feeding the, the new uh, new growth and the leaves that are strong. You're nourishing these weak leaves that eventually are going to fall down anyway and end up on the ground. But they're not taking the nitrogen from away from the tree. You understand? It's like you invite a lot of people to dinner and you're feeding them and a whole bunch of them are not your family. You don't even know that and you're feeding them. And your food supply is, is, you know, disappearing. And you're feeding strangers you don't even know. And you don't even know how they got into your house and they're eating your food. And then they leave. And then your family members stay there and they say, hey, who, who were those people? And they ate all your food and just left. Well, these leaves down here that are weak. And I have to show you one. Here, look at this one. They went pretty green. But 
If it fell off with the jet stream, it wasn't strong enough to survive. And this would just take nutrients away, nitrogen, away from the tree that a healthy league, you see, a healthy league like this would use. But you're feeding this, that look how weak it was and it fell. But this stays on and it's not getting enough food, you see. So that's why in nature you have rainstorm, you have wind that would blow the weak leaves off. I am duplicating what Mother Nature has been doing for years. You see? I do the same thing with my mango trees. I do the same thing with my avocado. We had a guy whose whose plum trees were the little fruits were falling. And he didn't know why. I sprayed this with high pressure jet on the water hose. All the weak ones will fall. Why nurture the weak ones? The survival of the fittest. Only the strong will survive. And you can see, these are all strong. They will take the nitrogen from the tree and they will nourish these little fruits and they will become avocados. You see? And then, here's another point. I got this on my Facebook um, group. They say, the last video I stated, these were flowers. And the flower would become a fruit. And they over there say, no, flowers are not flowers, are not fruit. Well, look, like I said, see is believing. You can see down here. Look at these. I'm picking these up. Look at, you see? These fell down because they were weak. And like I said, only the strong survive. If I didn't put the high pressure jet on them, they would stay on there barely, taking away nitrogen, nutrients away from these strong ones. And we would have less fruit. You see this? What is that? Let me see here. That's a fruit. See, the flowers fall out and they become fruits. See that? See the fruits? So, the flowers are fruit. These, see, look at here, the flower. I already show you on my other videos how the flower and the fruit, how they become. You can see clearly right there. So, like I said, over here, same thing. To see, there's a fruit coming out there, up here. See that? All these flowers will turn into the fruit. The fruit comes underneath the flower. It pushes the flower petal out and out, out, out comes out the fruit the fruit the fruit so you see that so when I water I always water with high pressure that's so the weak fall down and the strong survive and that goes with everything now they're strong and they're strong you know they're from jet stream I use that for the big trees here this spray here, which is called center, I use for like a little fruit here. You see that? If they're gonna fall out, they're gonna fall out. They're not gonna rob the whole tree of the other fruit for nitrogen. You see? Same thing. I do that to all my trees. Mangoes, especially because there's so many mangoes, the little flowers. If they're weak, they will fall out. They're not strong enough to become fruit. I had one guy saying, you know, my fruit on my plum tree is the falling out. And then I showed him and I told him what I did. The exact same thing with avocado. And he comes to me and says, 
How is an avocado like a plum tree? A plum. You know, I had to explain to him that I was making a simile. Avocado plum is a fruit, is a fruit. The reason they're falling off the tree is because it's, the tree is malnourished. It doesn't have the required nourishment to hold on to its fruit. And it took a long time for him to understand what I was talking about. And I told him I had videos already made explaining that. And I don't know. They don't want to go see the videos. They don't want to learn. They just want instant gratification, instant solving problems. Meaning his fruits were falling off his plum tree and he wanted somebody to instantly fix it. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. It takes time. You have to figure out why the fruit is falling out. You have to listen to people that know why they're falling out and solve that problem and uh, it's a nutrient problem well like i said this was uh, an update with tips you know the water tip and also something else uh i don't water every day we're getting into summer and then, yes, it's required to water every day, but sometimes the plant needs to struggle, just like in the real life world. It doesn't rain and the plants have to internally figure out how to survive, getting moisture out of the air in the morning. If you supply water all the time, the plants will never struggle and therefore will grow weak because that's the way you raised it. So, you can see here, it's some holes here. I've been meaning to put that on camera, but it's, you know, find out, I don't know what this is, a raccoon probably doing it. Uh, so I gotta get that camera up and running, figure out who's doing that. But, um, I wanted to show you the results of the, of the secret sauce. So, since I have you here, I'll go shut off the water and then we'll go look at... The area to where I sprayed it and see if the spiders came back so and I'll show you the good and I'll show you the bad because there's no point in me glamorizing and hiding the bad stuff this is the loquat tree you can see uh, something not good so I'm gonna have to fix this Put some nitrogen in there. You've seen the big tree here is doing quite well. To see that. All right, so we're looking for the spiders that I spray. Remember, I spray the mint here, and this is the second mint here, and I just moved it, and. Uh, I moved it from here to over there. Look at this tomato plant. Um, I guess uh, if I to find a tag, don't remember what kind of tomato it is and I don't see the tag there. But this soil was um, Fox Ocean. And this, like I said, was uh, regular uh, clay and uh, soil from the area and for tomatoes look tomatoes don't like it now this is not to say that the soil I have here is 
no good. No, it's no good for tomato or this type of tomato. Let's take a look. This could be it too. So you see here, there's something called beef steak hybrid. Well, maybe because it's a hybrid, requires more nurture. But that one did not survive. I bought both of these at the same time. I wish I could find the tag. But I uh, can't find the tag. Oh, here it is. Found it. So let's take a look what this is. So you can see right here. Cherry red. Non-GMO. Alright, so these are these cherry red. The little ones. I guess that other one was a big one. And you can see here. Is it the soil or is it just uh boy can't get that in there? Is it the soil or just the type of tomato plant? Well I'm not a tomato grower, so these are my first two tomatoes here. And look at this one. This is big ones. And this did not make it. So we'll figure out that later. Uh on the peach tree here look at that grow and today look at this this is new today compared to the last video you will not see that look at that you see I did show you this one it's a little bit bigger but this one look at this pot popped out in the last two days see that now remember this, I sprayed the secret sauce here, ants, look at, this is the pineapple, do you see any ants, no ants here, I sprayed the secret sauce here, this one, remember the peach tree, it had a whole bunch of ants, I don't see any ants, do you see any ants, there are ants here, so, no ants there, and I sprayed the secret sauce there. Okay, where else did we go? Oh, over here. Remember? There was a big spider whiz underneath here. I could still see a little bit of spider whiz. That's because this lip underneath, it could not spray it directly, but look at that. That big one, it's moved away. See that? There is a small spider web here. And, uh... See, let's see what it go under there. So, I'm going to do a second spray there. But you can see the big difference there. See? No spiders here. And remember that spider wave I had right here? Next to the apricot tree? Well, look, he didn't come back. Oh, is that it? That must be a new one. All right, I didn't see that one. Told you, I'm not gonna hide anything here. I'm gonna respray that one again. But that one looks smaller compared to the other one. It could be a different one. All right, so we gotta respray that. Like I said, it's not a miracle cure. One spray and you're done. No. I told you, uh, last time it took three sprays once every week and uh it got rid of all the all these uh spiders let me see here i hope i show you this one right there there was a big spider web there now it's gone it's like he went over here so i'll spray that area but you can see the big difference just one spray and then over here this was filled with it and I sprayed this and you can see there's uh just a little bit see that a little bit so we're spray here look at that found one see that guy let me see if I can see him okay 
Okay. We're going to get the secret sauce, and he's going to be our subject. All right. So let's go get it. Let's go get it. And we'll see it live. That'll be. That has to be a new character there. <clears throat> I hope there's still sun because the wife, yep, she didn't spray. So, and then over here, there was a uh, sun. I spray here. So let's spray here. This is live. Now, it doesn't hurt the tree. See that? That's the beauty of it. Right here. I don't know where this spider is. But we spray there. We spray on top of all these. I see a few bugs flying. So, we'll spray... This something bad it does get clogged up. See, it hmm, works better without that. But we'll put that back on there. Okay, we'll spray that. Get all these bugs. Look at. See how it's spraying right on the tomato. Oh my beautiful plant. No fear. No fear that it would kill them. See? Right there. I hope I got the video. Tomato here. You know how bugs like to eat the tomato plant. Okay, I see some bugs over here trying to go to the grave. Look at, they're right there. See that? I hope you, oh, forgot this guy right there. So let's go pump it up again. This is the secret sauce. Now, like I said before, this doesn't kill them, but it does cause them to vacate. Ooh, look at, look at, look at. Did you see that? Did you see that? There, I got you on camera. Ooh, look at that, you see? Oh, it's down there. Can you see it? This is live. Look at real. Ah, if I could just find it in there, it's hard. There it is. You see that? Got it. Now. Well, it did not kill it. There it is. See it? You get something spraying somewhere in there. Hiding there. See how it didn't kill it, but it makes it so that it does not want to come back. See? Look at that. See that? Think of it like a skunk. If a skunk sprayed you and kept spraying you, will you come back? Will you be there? Look how he abandoned the web. Okay, here, let's take a look. Look. Let me zoom out. Look. Those are like spider eggs. So that's like a, a mother spider. Oh, the wind got a backsplash. Okay. Will you abandon your baby's nest? <laughs> huh? Right there. Will you abandon the baby's nest? 
just to get away. Now, I will um, spray more in here because see if I can do this upside down right there. They're hiding underneath. And I'm going to spray again down there. I'm going to leave that there. Well, I don't know. The best thing to do is destroy the web. So if he rebuilds it, you know they came back. That's the only way you can tell. See? I don't like these spiders because they... they those little baby spiders or those spider mites that that uh, will poison your plants, lay the eggs or eat the nutritional value of your plants. Okay, that other one, remember here? We'll go get that one too. Like I said, this is organic. It doesn't kill them. And it won't kill your plants. That's what's so great about this. Okay. Let's see. Right there. Try to get it in focus. I'm going to try to zoom first before spraying here. Or it. Let me see. Right there. Alright. I hope I don't lose it. Okay. Here it is. See? So. Let me see. I like to find it again. It's so hard to shoot video. I can't find it with the camera. There. <laughs> I find it with the camera and then I can't see it right there. Okay. Let me try to find it with the camera again. Right there. I think it is. Is that it? Yep. Look at it run. Look at it run. Do you see that? Do you see it run? Look at it. It's trying to get away. See, this is the secret sauce at work. Right there. It's right there. Look at it. It's running away. The secret sauce doesn't kill. But it makes it so bad that they don't want to be here. It won't come back. Look at how it just abandoned the web and it's trying to get away. Look at You see it? It's still traveling right there. I'm gonna try to speed things up. Now I'm getting backsplash from the wind. Like I said, it's organic, so it's getting all over my face. All over the camera. See, this is live, the secret sauce. You see, it's trying to get away. It's all covering this. getting heavy to hold uh, anyways that's it I can't hold it any longer I don't have a tripod oh now I, I lost it but I guarantee you it won't be back and I'm gonna destroy all the spider webs so we know if we build the spider web back again here you know it, it did not work but you see all the other evidence that that, uh, that the secret sauce does work. See here, destroy all the spider webs. So if it makes a new one, I know that it didn't work and they came back. And there's so many here, but I'm gonna spray the whole tree again. So, It doesn't find a new spot and and just you know move next door 
to the tree there. I kind of got all, all of it. Now I'm gonna spray it, try to fix the nozzle. Okay. Again, look at this would not hurt this uh, cactus. Try doing that with any other product on the market. You want it will just kill the the tree, the plant. Now look at this. You see here? It looks like some animal sat here. And I don't know. Definitely gonna have to put the camera back. I Me, mean, yeah, the new camera here. I don't know what's going on here. And then take a look in there. I don't see like there's major digging. But I hope it's the cat. I'm gonna have to figure out a better system for this. Okay, now over here. We spray all this, see that? There, you just saw that. Look at that major, there's a little bug in there. Look at, I have fruit here. And look at, I'm spraying, I hope you see it. I'm spraying this product on my fruit. Can you do that with any other product? Because you're putting poison on it. With my product, the secret sauce, no, it's organic. I could put this in my mouth and taste it. So will it harm my berries? No. No, it would not. You see, there is no other product. Look at that. There's a little mosquito or some insect there. And uh, it would not harm my uh, fruit trees, my fruits that you're going to eat. But I, I put it where it's needed, where I see there's flying bugs. And where it's not, you don't need to waste it on there. There's some flying here. So, you can see, there's a whole bunch in here. Take care of them. Okay. So, Let's go over here and see if there's any bugs over there. Again, this is called the secret sauce. Actually, it's number six. Number six was perfected. And works great. These bugs like to hide here in the shade. You need to see. Put it on the mint again, right there. All right, so there's your update. Here's the secret sauce. It works like a charm. A lot of you guys are not subscribing. I wish you would. I wish you asked me questions in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And look, I'm gonna end this with this. Look at here. Okay, and these are the first of the fruits. Look at that. The underside is not done. Maybe I'll just turn it over. Leave it 24 hours this side. See, if, oh, I can't flip it. How can I flip it? How about this way? It's not getting sunlight there, that's why. This one's gonna be tough. I'm trying to flip it without breaking it. So you get sun on this side, which is quite hard to do there. I'm trying not to damage it. Anyways, how about this one? Same thing. I was gonna eat it, but you see how it's still white on this side? So I'm gonna leave it there. Maybe it needs a little bit more time. 
There, how's that? There, and now I have to get sun on that side. I think it'll be ready for tomorrow. Was well, gonna eat it right here and show you guys, but it needs a little bit more time. Oh, do you want a bonus round? Okay, I'll give you a bonus round. Only for you people that stayed on till the end. This is a short video. Look, what do I have here? I wanted to show you. Look, it's outside under these containers. And look. There's some more soil. What do I tell you what this is? It's bacterial. It's uh, biological. It's microorganisms. Okay. Now let's take a look in here. Look, 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 look. Look at this. These are my cuttings. And they are working. They have little baby leaves. And, uh, they're not quite ready yet, but look how I have them there. You see, the soil is very moist, and uh, and it is working. So, all so you guys are trying to get cuttings so I have it in this environment there it's totally dark in there but it's out that red cut has holes underneath so the microorganisms and the worms and everything will come into the cup and uh, and get in there all right this is Jay from the Blue Garden signing off.